Resident Evil 3.
You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready! Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Thank <laughs> you. 